A Nashville family is looking for a new place to live after an early morning fire tore through their home. All of this just three days before Christmas. A mother and her adult son escaped with their lives, but firefighters sent the son to the hospital as a precaution. They said he'd been running in and out of the burning home in Oak Hill, trying to save more than a dozen pets. Investigators say the fire started in the living room where they found candles and a space heater, but right now they're still working to confirm exactly what sparked that blaze. Also this morning, a maintenance barn on the property of the General Motors plant in Spring Hill went up in flames. Crews say the storage barn caught fire around 1 o'clock this morning. By the time they arrived, about 70% of the building was gone. Six different fire crews responded. The barn stored road salt, farming equipment, and roofing materials. Remembering the life and legacy of M. Lee Smith, the influential political advisor and publisher, was part of the vanguard of Republicans who would eventually dominate state government. His newsletter, The Tennessee Journal, was also a must-read for lawmakers, reporters, and the politically active. And uh, even though he obviously had deep Republican roots, he, he, he covered Republicans and Democrats, and he was not overly partisan. And I, and I think both Republicans and Democrats uh, will remember that and know that he was... Uh, was reasonably fair about what he did. Emily Smith was 74 years old. Online shopping more popular than ever. It's expected to account for $117 billion worth of holiday sales this season. As Don Dollar shows us, that has package delivery companies busier than ever. If you've avoided the crowded malls this holiday season by ordering online, you haven't really prevented a headache. You've just transferred it to the folks whose job it is to get your packages delivered by Christmas Day. It's stressful, but it's very energetic. We've been preparing all year for this ever since last peak. FedEx is expecting to break records this shipping season, a 10% increase over last year. And to ensure the blizzard of packages arrives on time, FedEx has its eyes on the skies. We've got 15 meteorologists 24-7 around the clock watching the weather worldwide and uh, we're really geared up here. We have contingency plans for everything. UPS. UPS is also expecting record shipments, up 14% to more than 700 million packages. And to make sure Santa gets the job done, experts say it takes a lot of extra elves. UPS has hired about 95,000 people for the holidays. FedEx has hired about 50,000. Many retailers are promising last-minute delivery options. If you order online today, Amazon Prime, Target, Best Buy, and Walmart all say they can get your package under the tree by the 25th, with some even promising next-day delivery on the 24th. But if weather conditions get bad, not even Rudolph can save the day. They shouldn't wait till the day before to order. Even if the retailer promises guaranteed delivery next day, don't wait till the day before. Don Daler, CBS News, New York.